Aaron, welcome back. Uh, first of all, good summer? Yes, very good summer, yeah, thank you. I uh, had a trip to Australia and a uh, nice little trip with uh, one of our mates, uh, Harry Pell, so it was a, it was a good, uh, good couple of weeks, but uh, yeah, glad to be back. In terms of yourself, uh, sporting a, a blue shirt rather than the red one this year. Yeah, so yeah, a bit tell different. Us what's changed. <laughs> a bit different. Uh, a few of the lads don't recognise me in this, but um, yeah, so obviously a few things I like, you know, thought to come to an instant stage, and uh, with the injuries I've had, unfortunately, it's come a little bit earlier than what I would have liked, but you know, I'm, uh, I'm happy with, uh, with that. And um, you know, so now uh, the manager um, has, has asked me to come on with the first team um, as first team coach, so which is great, um, but I'm Obviously, um, correlating that with my uh, head of academy coach as well, so um, it's a good opportunity for me to work with the academy boys um, and work with the first team and try and bridge that gap, um, like I was doing last season, but more um, official this year. How much did you enjoy that role last year? Because you did, you did that thing, you went along to a lot of academy sessions, you got to see the progression route. How much are you looking forward to building on your work last season? Yeah, yeah, well, a lot. I mean, last year was uh, an eye-opener for me because uh, obviously just getting involved with the academy for sort of the first time, really. Um, and this year I'm more prepared for it. Um, and I know that the hardest thing last year was trying to get to know all the kids' names and, and, and everything like that. So I've, I've got to know all that. And now I know um, how it works and how it is. So I can probably work a, lot, a little bit more efficient this year um, with my role and um, and translate what we're doing with the first team through, down through the, uh, through the ages uh, with the academy. And um, hopefully, again, like we did last year, get the manager and, and uh, Gary Johnson and, and Russell Milton along to, to academy sessions. So the uh, players coming through the system can see a clear pathway um, as to where they're going. And uh, hopefully I can try and make that transition for, for the players into the first team a lot smoother. Big fan of what Antoine and Peter are doing in the academy. And it, I guess it's, it's looking for next George Lloyd, isn't it? Do you want to take that step up? Definitely. I mean, if you look at the lads last year, you know, we had, uh, like I say, George Lloyd come through. We had Matt Bauer, who's come through the academy. Uh, we had uh, uh, Will Dawes um, and even Ross Grimshaw towards the end on the bench um, for the first team. So there's been a few last year, um, but like I say, we can't rest on our laurels. And Anton and Peter have been doing a fantastic job. Um, it's been, you know, a lot of hours and a lot of effort from them, but, um, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done. And uh, hopefully I can help them as much as I can, um, help the rest of the coaches with my um, head of coaching role um, and try and um, I'd say get that progression for, of players coming um, into the first team and start producing players for the club. Just finally, first team hat on this afternoon. Um, tempted to get involved with the running or <laughs> you're done with that now? It's, it's an awkward one because you know you, you always I always enjoyed doing uh, pre-season with the uh, with the boys and you know that camaraderie that you build where everyone's in together working hard and, and building your fitness up for the season and I, I really enjoyed that. It's, for me, there was no better feeling to uh, be as fresh and as fit as you, you possibly can be right at the start of the season, um, having put that sort of five, six weeks worth of work in. Um, but when I do see them below in the last sessions, you know, knackered and sore feet and, you know, achy in the morning when you wake up, you can't move because your calves are stiff and your ankles and knees. So I don't envy that side of it, but um, that fitness, uh, I think I need to do a little bit more because I've, uh, I've enjoyed my retirement a little bit too much. So I need to start getting back fit myself. But um, no, I, I do envy, I do miss playing, but, uh, you know, I'm really enjoying the coaching side and uh, looking forward to uh, getting the boys through their pace this afternoon. Cheers, Aaron. Good on you. Ryan, um, how was pre-season going? First of all, are you enjoying uh, the first day and a half? Has it been hard work? Yeah, well, since yesterday we came in, um, picked our kit bags up and, and that sort of thing. Got a lot of for us. So far, so good. It's been, it's been testing a few, a few of the runs we've done and, and stuff like that, but all the lads have pulled through it pretty strongly and, and looking good. It's obviously a new look squad, but with new faces, you kind of, how's the camaraderie going? Everybody kind of each other through the session? Yeah, there's obviously a few new faces. There's a few lads who've been here uh, last season, maybe the season before as well. So it's nice that everyone can sort of mix from day one um, and get to know each other day to day. Uh, it's good, yeah. In terms of yourself, obviously a month or so since you signed for the club, are still excited about the season ahead or what you can hopefully achieve here? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We've got a lot of games coming up in pre-season. Um, good chance to sort of get in the manager's plans and get your fitness right up to scratch and we're looking ahead to the first first game of the season on the 4th of August so I'm sure everyone's ready to go really. 
Just finally, you've moved up to the area as well. How are you finding Cheltenham as a, as a place to live and, and work? Yeah, well, I settled in yesterday and it seems like we're in a nice area, so I'm happy with that. Yes, well, the weather's really good, which helps as well, you know, to settle in. And what's, uh, what's the afternoon got in store for you? A bit more running or more um, work? I think we're done with the running from this morning. We've done enough to be fit. Um, so hopefully some football, uh, get some football work into our legs and yeah, go from there. Brilliant. Good luck. Cheers, thank you.